Greetings everyone, your local shenanigan gamer back in Universe Sandbox 2. Welcome to the Pacific Islands of Hawaii. Aloha, my Hawaiian friends out there. So, as we look up to this lovely star-filled sky that I hope you folks get to see from time to time. I know light pollution can get in your way as well. Um, one's mind does wander into the realms of what's out there, what ifs, and that's what brings us to this video today because a comment was sent to me about a uh, collision, you know, it's it's what I like to do and um, you know, we always add some velocity up to and including uh, the speed of light, but what if velocity wasn't a factor? What if we placed, what if we placed two, two bodies together without, um, without velocity? What would that impact be like? And uh, that that's what we're going to do today. But uh, again, before we do, I hope you folks have had a great week and a great weekend as well. And uh, hopefully you get to see a nice star filled sky on your side of the world. But today we have the moon on the horizon. Could you imagine a moon rise, a moon set just like this? Um, imagine the tides <laughs> that would that would be involved in this as well. But it looks impressive to say the least. And um, I have placed these two, these two lovely bodies, Earth and the Moon, in their own simulation, just, just kissing. There, 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 there is no impact, I believe, just yet. Um, and I must actually neutralize, uh, it just sets the default there. And uh, let's zero that out. So no velocity involved here, for now. There's going to be fall velocity, um, gravitational pull, and all that jazz. But the moon is within the atmosphere, but not, and we're not normally inside the Earth, are we? We're submantle here, but uh, no peeking off the moon. It's it's there, but just sitting on the surface. So we're literally going to hit play and uh, watch this fall down, and uh, I have the game set. In real time at the moment but um yeah I'm curious to know what what will happen normally we get a violent impact you know stuff gets thrown back up into the atmosphere as well I don't think we will get that much of a violent impact but what 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 will be the result of the moon falling in here um, it's just curious let's get a sight here look at look how much it's penetrating the oh hang on is it even let's, let's speed up things a little bit here real time maybe was not a good idea mr shenanigans games how dare you maybe we should drop some other stuff like this as well let me know oh there we go it has begun and the shockwave has begun as well so uh, sorry to my american and south american friends here you just happened to be on the wrong side of the globe when I placed the Earth. Um, I always like to do it on the light side. I'm sure I could have tweaked it a little bit, but listen, it is it is what it is. I, I'll make sure I pick Europe um, the next time, or maybe Russia and the Middle East and stuff like that. Um, but for now, ooh, the Eye of Sauron. Quite evil, don't you think? <laughs> Okay, so that shockwave is going up the west coast of America, up into Canada and Alaska. It's well approaching again South America as well, and heading off into the Atlantic and across the Pacific too. So that's going to cause its own little disaster, and again we have tsunami following that too. But no, no great ejecta flying around here just yet. Maybe we should speed up the game, methinks. It's looking good though. You can start to see it being consumed by the earth right now. So the speed is going up. Um, obviously with the attraction of the larger body that is earth uh, against the moon. 
And again, we have water receding there as well. Not by as much as I thought it would. I thought it would be more at this stage. But we do have that massive ring of fire, but no great throwback just yet. And again, that shockwave is still emanating out there. Oh. Oh my. Well, that's interesting. We're not usually inside here to see this type of uh, damage. So it's like the pressure, the, the impact pressure is like it's almost liquefied the Earth's crust and it's just kind of falling, kind of like a, like if you if you built a fire on on on, on uh, an ice covered lake where it just localizes that point and you can throw stuff through but the rest of the crust is still solidified obviously there's going to be a huge amount of atmospheric turbulence tectonic um impacts here as well so destruction is is a given and we can see some ejecta there just along the perimeter off the moon but nothing getting really propelled up too much So the moon is about to be completely within atmosphere there now. Soon to disappear. And goodbye moon. Look at that ring. Oh. Hang on. Okay. Sometimes this game does this. Uh, let's see if they disappear here. What an interesting uh, impact site. Ooh. Those things are annoying. I think I'm going to get rid of those guys. But lovely spherical lines here. Circular lines even, not spherical. Goodbye, annoying blobs. There we go. And we have our additional impacts there. So, there's our impact site. The water was pushed out, but it did come back. It fought the good fight. But normally what we'd see here is, again, that temperature is going to continue to rise. And uh, because this is, a, this is in a standalone simulation, like there's no sun or solar system, the planet will probably refreeze after that as well so we'll speed up time here so normally kind of around the I, I, I'd like to say the 150 degree to 100 degree mark uh, we start to see the water returning in, in, in kind of planetary quantities and then it'll probably go sub-zero after that as well so here's the water coming back there we go. No greenery just yet. I doubt there will be. Okay. Keep an eye on this. And temperature. Temperature's getting there, so the atmosphere, the clouds are back. And, uh... Poof! There we go. <laughs> There's our lovely little frozen, or frozen little Earth. Kind of looks like a, I don't know, strange Star Wars planet. It's got that kind of blue, blue to red shift hue across it as well. But I, I, I enjoy that, it's just something a little bit different. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions for future impacts or any other shenanigans that you, we want to get up to in Universe Sandbox 2. Um, as always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and check out the playlist at the end of the video for more Universe Sandbox shenanigans. And again, I hope you have a great rest of the week. Thanks for stopping by, taking the time out of your day. 
and I will see you in the next one. So take it easy.